Valuable knowledge and skills are developed each year at the 4-H Cooperative Business Leadership Conference. A select group of high school 4-H and FFA members is taken behind the scenes to see how various cooperatives are run and how they serve the community. The three-day event is hosted by Mississippi State University Extension. By combining learning activities with business cooperative tours around Mississippi, the 4-H Cooperative Business Leadership Conference is preparing participants to become young professionals. Marissa Ludaudio of Alcorn County describes the many important skills she's learned. One of the workshops we attended taught us how to create a resume and how to have proper online etiquette, which is really important, especially for my generation, because a lot of people don't realize how important social media is and so they post everything online and it impacts them for years down the road. And so learning how to properly send an email and how to have the right punctuation and grammar and how to present yourself through the way you dress and talk and act in such a way that people respect you and would like to work with you was a very valuable skill that I will use for the rest of my life. Dr. Laura Lemons, Agricultural Leadership Specialist with Mississippi State University Extension, says these young people are making professional connections for the future. The largest benefit for these students at this particular conference is the net networking that they get out of it and the understanding of the opportunities and the career options that they have, um, whether they, have, they maintain a specific interest in agriculture or it's something tangential to that. Um, like, for instance, yesterday when we were at Staple Cotton and we talked a lot about you know, accounting degrees and marketing degrees and human resources and management. Whether they recognize it now or not, that's probably one of the best things that they got out of this conference. Various businesses were included in the tours, such as Farmer's Grain Terminal in Greenville and Staple Cotton in Greenwood, as well as Delta and Pine Land Company in Scott. I'm Amy Taylor reporting.